What's up, bitches? Malachi here with another one for you. This is a little bit of a uh, a, a pro tip there for you, uh, for you folks. This is a uh, I want to say 2013 uh, GMC Acadia, which hold on here. I want to say it's the same thing as a Traverse and the Enclave, but uh, I'm not 100% positive on that. Anyway, so. Uh, this is the case uh, where the front AC works straight, but the back one was blowing hot, they said. And then they said on the way here to drop it off, it was, of course, you know, started blowing nice and cool like they wanted it to out of the, in, out of the back. And they got, we got the babies. You got to think of the babies. The babies are going to sweat to death. They're going to die because, you know, nobody ever fucking survived in Tennessee uh, before air conditioning, let me tell you. Thankfully, the white man came and fucking, uh, you know, brought his air conditioning with him the entire freaking time he's been here you know no there was in fact nobody lived in tennessee until freaking like you know 80 years ago when the air conditioning was invented but that's a separate issue anyways so uh you know we verified that the uh the actuator appears to be doing switching switching betwixt the two uh uh things there now that we just use the back controller thing in the center console and turned it to hot, turned it to cold. It appeared to be changing the temperature. All right, okay, okay, okay. Um, now, you'll see on one of the other little videos there, some clown there. Hey, not a clown. He's, he, would have, maybe he knows more than me. I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm the clown. You know, uh, he's got uh, the, he said, okay, the evaporator, or no, I'm sorry, the expansion valve. Oh, we got this thing out of here. And... The little filter now some people are going to call this thing um, a filter some people are going to call this thing uh, uh, what uh, the orifice tube it's a fucking filter basically is all it is there's nothing special about it um, just it fits in there now he says change this out you got to pull the you got to go down from below and get the ex uh, orifice tube out you got to go through the inside part. So my dumb fucking ass decided, hey, I'm going to trust the people on the fucking internet to fucking tell me the truth. Because why the fuck would they lie, right? You don't need to fucking take any of this shit apart. This is such a fucking waste of fucking my damn time. But, okay, let me be a lesson to you. You can get everything from down below. Uh, I used a pry bar. To get the uh, rubber uh, things off of the uh, the muffler, so it uh, exhaust hung down just a little bit. You then got a 13 millimeter deep well up in here that takes out your nut on your expansion. Uh, I use an extension and then had like a I want to say I might have used this one, some kind of universal wobbly. Um, to get the nut out and there was not a lot of refrigerant in this back half of the system so i'm not too sure if there's like a cutoff between the front and rear because this did not blow out like three and a half four cans worth of fucking refrigerant it did not dump two pounds of fucking thing so i'm not too sure why maybe there's low on refrigerant or if there's a cutoff somewhere up up, up at the front but yeah some did come out uh made a fucking big mess in here i had to break clean it all out um take the nut off drop the two lines off your new yeah, expansion valve there's your part number from this is the o'reilly's part number and this is the o'reilly's part number for your orifice tube filter thing um got them both like i said they were only uh a couple uh this thing was five bucks, brand new. Look at this, so much cleaner than the old one compared to the old one here, but you know, whatever. Um, and your expansion valve, the new one will not come with the little foamy thing around it, little seal. And it was around about $40, $45 or something like that. So to get it down, that's where getting the lines off are not too bad. You pop them right out. The small thin line is where your filter will be. 
you might be able to get in there, get your little uh, dirty little tight little fingernail. Uh, hey, Sylvie, you coming to crash a video? Be my, uh, be my, oh, look at you. Look at the kitty. You got that kitty, kitty, kitty. Um, but I use this thing, kind of reached in there and whoop, popped it right out. You know, the, you know, the old classic orange handled China freighters. Uh, pop out the filter to get the two bolts out for the expansion valve. This is the only part that was a bitch on this, on the lower half of the thing here. They are three millimeter Allen heads. Now, the trick with like any kind of Allen head or Torx thing, and you, some cars, you, sometimes you got to really do this, and other times it doesn't freaking matter at all. I'm using a ball style, which is probably a bad idea. I probably didn't help here. Focus, you fucking guy, you fucking cunt there. There you go. Doesn't matter. You put it up into the hole. You wiggle it, you wiggle it, you wiggle it. Put a long extension on the bottom of this. Now, this is how I did it, but, you know, how you do it is up to you. Put a long extension on there and then beat this fucking thing straight in with a hammer. Make sure that the ball is seated 100% into your screw. Note the amount of rust and crust on these things. The silver-headed one here, this one came right out with zero drama. This one kept wanting to almost round out. Now, it could have been because initially I was using the old Husky set of these extended things. This one is the China Freight, uh, uh, you know, uh, Icon brand. And I've got some other ones out in the, in the garage, but I thought I would try these ones first and they should. So I had to beat that thing in there for about 20, 30 little taps, pounded it in, and then it just came right out like it was nothing. So I don't know if it was rusted in there, crusted in there, walled, I just did something. So put some ACs or some shit on that. Uh, just don't get crazy with it because you're not trying to contaminate your AC system, which shouldn't be able to do, but, you know, a lot of things shouldn't be in, in our world. So that's all you got to do to freaking change out the bolt pieces on there. I'd do this. I'd show you guys more, but unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman and tripods and any of that kind of shit. So, uh, again, I don't monetize my, my videos, so... I don't fucking have no affiliate links. No, no, I'm just doing this for the fucking shits and fucking giggles of it. So if you don't like my cursing, you don't like the way I make a video, piss off. I don't care. I'm uh, going to make it the way I'm going to make it. Mm. Peace out, bitches.